Hey guys, what's going on today? Uh, we just did a video on removing the XMAX servo and replacing it. If you want to see that, check the description and you'll find the link down there. I just got done doing the lower bulkhead on my son's Max. Um, wasn't bad at all, never done one before. Um, and then I got to looking at my wife's truck. We were both doing the same thing with both of them. And lo and behold, I snapped the lower bulkhead on hers too. Which, these trucks we've had over a year and we've never broken anything so I guess it was you know it was time so long story short we are going to move this little guy off the table bring hers up here and we're gonna do the uh, lower bulkhead and show you guys how to do it uh, let me show you her truck so here's hers got the body off of her already and the lower bulkhead is just trashed I will show you that when we get down to it and let me show you the newest addiction addition to the Max family Check this guy out. This one is pretty. This is the new Max, guys. This is Max V2 or 2.0. I call it the Max 2.0. This one comes with trencher, not trenchers. This one comes with sledgehammer tires, comes with an extended chassis. The body is also longer to fit the chassis, and it comes stock with the wide Max kit on it. These tires, I'm sure most of you guys know what they are. These did not come on it. These are the Revo 2.0 tires. Um, I wanted to make it just a little bit bigger footprint and stuff, so I put some uh, 2.0 tires on it. Haven't run it just yet. Still brand new, hasn't had batteries in it. Uh, next on this truck, what I'm going to do is put a 6S power system in it. So uh, that will be next. So let's move this guy out the way. Alright, so let's get working on this Max. We're going to do a little bit of pretending on this one, and I'll, and I'll explain. I'll explain. I'll tell you now. When I did this Max here, he had lost a pin. He just destroyed the bulkhead and the pin flew out of it. I thought I had a spare pin here. I didn't, so I robbed a pin out of hers. When I went to rob a pin out of hers, I realized um, her lower bulkhead was broken. So let's, uh, guess we, let's get into it. First thing we're going to do to make it easier to work on is I'm going to go ahead and just pull a little, uh, these little tires off here real quick. So let's go ahead and get those tires off. I don't have the bulkhead. Uh, I've got half of it. I've got the upper bulkhead left because I just did the lower on my son's truck. I didn't know I needed to or would have ordered to. Uh, I called my local hobby shop, High Pro Audio, here in, uh, well, I live in Quero, uh, in Victoria, Texas, and they have one on hand for me. So I'm going to be running over there tomorrow to pick up that bulkhead and that is when we'll be picking up the second part of this video. So for now, we're just going to get her tore down. Um, took me six minutes to get the bulkhead out of the other Max. Never done it before. So we'll see how this, this one goes. It's going to take longer because we're doing it on video I want to be sure you guys can see everything. This little guy is so small compared to what I'm used to working on. Okay, I'm going to get you guys a good view of this, and we're going to get started. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm going to tuck this wire out of the way here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this taken apart. So the first thing we're going to do... Now, you have to forgive me. I don't know a lot of the, the proper names on these parts because I've never broken hard. I've never honestly broken anything on Max before other than uh, stub shafts. So, we're going to go ahead and just wing it right guys all right so i would say this is like a chassis brace so i'm going to pull this cross shaped chassis brace off first all these screws there's four are going to be two and a half millimeter so let's go ahead and get these out i'm trying not to go too fast to you guys sometimes i get in the groove and i start flying and i'm like hold on hold on these guys have not done this before. Got to slow down, Kevin. Okay, so I'm going to take my magnet. Suck these out of here real quick. Okay. So you've got a longer screw. The longer one goes up here in the front. This is a 4x20. And something else I showed on the X-Max video. You can get you guys a stack of these little condiment cups from the grocery store. And you can use those to organize 
your screws as you take them out. So I know this is a 4x20, so I'm just going to write on there that it's a 4x20. And then all the rest of the screws you don't have to measure that are the same size. You can throw it in there and look at it and see it's the same size. So what you do is when you put it back together and you're not sure where all these screws go, you can go to Traxxas.com and I'll show you in another video. Uh, check the description and I'll show you, I'll link the video to you so that you can find it. All you do is you go to Traxxas.com, go to Parts and Accessories, select your vehicle, and it'll show you the exploded view. Uh, we're, gonna need, we're working on the front end, so you would select front end, and then you get this big exploded view, and it shows you every screw, everything, and you can put your cursor on that screw, and it'll tell you that's a 4x20. And it shows you where it goes, so you can print that out, bring it with you, and then when you get ready to put it together, you have all your little tubs, 4x12, 4x16, 4x20. You say, okay, well, I forgot what goes here. You look at your chart. Oh, it's a four, that's a 4x20. Four you reach in a 4x20 cup, you get one. Now, if you have them all in a big old pile, then you've got to sort them out. You've got to measure them all one by one. If you do it on the way apart, it's a lot easier. If you work on this truck a lot, it's not going to take but a couple of tries, a couple of times, and you're going to remember where stuff goes. The X-Max, I pretty much know where everything goes, you know. So, that being said, I'm going to throw all these in the same cup because I just did it a while ago and it's still fresh. Not in this truck now. Okay. I'm sorry for the rambling, guys. I just want to give you guys all the information I possibly can. And that brace will lift right out of there just like that. And I'm just going to set that aside. Okay. And then I believe what I did on mine next was I pulled the shock tower. And now, uh, there may be a different way. There may be a better way to do this. If there is, awesome, go for it. I'm just showing you what I know. Okay, now we're going to pull these shock towers off, and I'm going to point out some screws to you guys real fast in case you can't see everything. So we're going to pull this screw here. We're going to pull this one down a little lower from it. Directly across, you're going to have two more in the same exact spots. You see this one hiding right here, and then this one up here. We're going to pull those four. And we're also going to pull this fifth one right up front. And these are two and a half. So let's get that done. I think if I tilt this, I might give you a better view. Okay, let's get her done. We're going to take this front one out. And this screw here holds this bumper spring in. We'll take that out. Set it to the side. And just pay really close attention to where the screws go when you take them out. And for the most part, you can, you'll, you'll get them back in. Um, there's two screws hiding down here in the bottom of the bumper. See them right here? They're also two and a half. Let's go ahead and pull those out and get that bumper out of the way. Okay, that's that one. And that's that one. Now you can take and push this uh, skid plate down here down out of your way. And then that bumper will slide right out and just leave those two in there and then you can take the other one that was in there the long one just like that and just put it back in there and set it aside that's one way that you won't mix them up so now we've got the bumper off the truck let's go ahead and finish getting off the shock towers so we're going to go ahead and pull these here so that's one there now we're going to pull that one out and then directly across they're in the same exact spot Two more. You can see that one, and you can see that one. Okay. I'm gonna take a magnet, and now these four are gonna be the same size. I can tell you because I, uh, 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 I did one just a few minutes ago. These four are gonna be the same size. These look like a four by twelve. They may actually be a four by ten. No, these are four by twelve. Let's see what we get. Four by twelve. So you got four 4x12s that go right here in this corner of the shock towers on both sides. Okay, now the shock tower is unbolted there. We need to go ahead and pull the top bolt out of the shocks. We're gonna do that now. I'm gonna move my little whoops, <laughs> move my little jack stand here so you guys can see. And now what's holding this shock on the top, I believe these are a two millimeter. Yes, sir, they are. Let's pull this two millimeter out. Guys, I hope these videos help you guys. I love to do them. I love doing them. Uh, I like doing the step-by-step -step portion, you know, like the, the teaching method. 
I like doing them a whole lot, and I really hope that they help you guys. So if they do, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a you know a subscription. Uh, it helps a lot, and the more I, more likes and comments I get, the more I'll get into these. I own 17 cars, 18 cars. I will cover every car 100%, and if there's something I didn't cover, I'll do it for you guys. All right, so we're going to pull our shocks. Just let it fall aside. Let that one fall aside. And now memory serves me correct. Okay, we've got to pull the upper A-arm pins because the shock tower uh, bracket goes down and these pins run through it. So now let's jump back. Let's jump back to our two and a half. Pull that pin there. We'll pull that pin out over there. And I'm going to take a little baby pair of records I like to use. Pull that one out. I'm going to pull that one out. Alright, and these pins go on the top. They're the only two that you're going to pull out like this that are threaded pins. You won't pull out any more like this on this job. So you won't mix those up. Okay, so we've got the shocks out, we've got the upper A arms out. Let's go ahead and pull the outer tie rods loose right here. We're going to do that on both sides, two millimeter. And like I said, my method or my order may not be the correct order or anything like that, but guess what? It worked really well for me a while ago. I'm just going to take a flat head right here and just kind of push it out just like that. And what I'm going to do is take that screw out that I took out and I'm just going to kind of put it back in there. And that kind of helps me remember where it went. All right, now we're on the right side of the truck and we're going to pull the same little screw out here. Okay, zip that out of place. I'm going to take a flathead and put it in here. Pry it out, take our screw, put it back at our knuckle. Just a couple of threads. Now that's out. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and disconnect the link from our bell crank. This is also going to be a two millimeter right here. Take that right out of there. Take the screw out. I'm going to reach right inside here. See here? I'm going to hold it to support it. Push it right out. I'm going to take that same screw and put it right back in there just with a couple of threads. All right, now that bell crank is bell crank and steering, uh, tie rods are ready to come out. Now let's go ahead and pull the shock towers off so they will come right off. Boom. And they will stay together. There's a screw right inside here. So we can just take and set those right aside. I'm going to lift our bell crank steering mechanism out of the way. It sits on top of two bearings. You see those two bearings right there? It sits right on top of there. Just like that. So we'll just take this whole assembly and we'll set it aside right over here with everything else. And now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So let's go ahead and be careful with this stuff here. Uh, and we're going to turn it over carefully as possible. Only because nothing's going to fall apart if it does. That's the whole purpose here. But uh, there's uh, the, the pretend part is coming up that I told you guys about. So what are you talking about pretend? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so the bottom of these screws on this skid plate, they're in bad shape. You can tell it's been bottomed out quite a bit at the skate park. Um, I did not have, I had these out a while ago because I was doing some inspection. Uh, I did not have any trouble getting these out. You just take your two and a half and you put it in there. If they look pretty bad, you'd be surprised how bad these can look and they'll come out. Put it on and just wiggle it a little bit and you'll feel it pop in. And once they pop in, They'll come right out. These will be replaced before um, when I run the truck. Before I run the truck. When we put this together, they'll be new. Because these are gone. Okay, so we're going to pull these four out. These I'm going to throw in this cup, but they're going bye-bye. Now we can pull this skid plate off. Just like this here. Okay, now we're down to the lower bulkhead. So let's go ahead and pull this screw out right here. That is a two and a half. In the way. Okay, then we'll just pull that little retainer off. Now, see what happened here. See this? This arm's already out of there. 
This pin here, this is where we're playing, we're playing pretend. This pin don't belong in here. This is out of an X Max. Um, I only put it in here because I didn't want to bring the truck up here on the table halfway thrown apart, and you're like, well, you done got it halfway apart. You didn't show me. Um, it still didn't work out very well. But anyway, pretend this arm is still on here, right, guys? Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take some pliers, wherever they've gone. We're going to take some pliers, and we're just going to pull this pin out. Slide right out, and then you end up with that. That's all there is to it. So you're going to take, lay this whole assembly. It won't come apart. Lay this whole assembly aside. Now this is the correct pin right here on this uh, right hand side of the truck. So we're going to take it, pull that pin out, just like that. This pin is going bye bye, it goes to my X-Max box. And now this other pin here, I'll put it in my little bolt container. Now this can slide, now that can slide right off. Now you are almost down, you are down to the bulkhead. And let me show you the carnage. I'm sure you can already see the crack. It's gone. Okay, let's finish getting this baby tore down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pull this bottom chassis skid plate off. I guess it's a skid plate. Chassis brace, chassis skid plate. Basically, this is just like the x mask right here. I'm going to take these, these bolts loose. And these on the ends on both sides are really long. Be sure they're all the way out or it's not going to lift right off. These are backed all the way out. It'll lift straight up on you. There's one part on this bulkhead that's a little confusing. And I will show you that. All right. All right. Put those back there, and now I'm just gonna lift up on this tab here, or not, and get this off of there. Now I'm gonna pry back here just a little bit, and I'm gonna do my best to keep those screws in there. This screw, all the screws are sitting right inside there, and I'm basically just gonna drape it across one of the sets of tires. Okay, so there, now you got your little dry shaft right here, here's your bottom part of your bulkhead, um, let's see here, okay, then you're going to have this screw and this screw here that needs to come out, so turn my light off here, let's go ahead and back those out, and those are going to be a two and a half, when these are out, the entire bulkhead will just come right off. A lot of these screws are the same size on this on this job right here, so it, it, it's not too uh, it's not gonna make you pull your hair out. All right, now you can pretty much just lift the chassis up, and it's gonna separate right there. There you go. So I'm gonna take the main chassis and just set it down here with the front half of my X Max. There's that poor guy. Okay, so there is the bulkhead. You can take slide that if you want. So the lower one is what's broken, the lower half. So let's go ahead and get that taken apart. I want this to where you guys can kind of see as if you're looking over my shoulder because the, the straight down views are cool, but then you can't see anything when I'm working there. So Okay, so then you got a screw here and you have a screw here. We're going to start with that. This is the top side. These are easy. You'll know where they go. They're tapered. They're tapered head screws. See there? Take that, drop it there. And okay, now we're going to flip it over. There's nothing else on this side. Play on this side. Okay? So, first thing we're going to unbolt is this here is where it can get complicated. For me, it did. So, we're going to unbolt these two screws. That one. And that one. Because what happened is this got hidden somewhere on the table. And this is one of the retainers where your pin goes in, right? Your pin holder in the back. Well, I forgot to put it on because it got hidden and it had the truck together. And I'm like, what the heck? Where does the pin go? And that's what it was. But this has screws all over this sucker. This has two that bolt down just like this. Can you see how that looks? Take a mental note. Okay. 
And then there's two more on the back side of this. Well, two more right here. So we're going to go ahead and take, and these are the same size as the, uh, the ones that hold the uh, upper and lower bulkhead to the chassis. They're 4 by 12. So let's go ahead and take these out. All these do is hold the brace intact. I left these screws out the first time and I took it all back apart because I wanted them in there just so that everything was as rigid as it needed to be. So then you have this, I thought this part was broken off. This is an individual part. This brace comes out of there, you see there? So you set that down. Now, real quick, we're gonna do it anyway, but to put this back on, you put this brace back in, like that, obviously line the holes up. You're gonna take these two longer screws and run them in, one here, one here, tighten it up, then you take this and you take and you bolt it back on just like that and that is how it goes together and that threw me for a loop the first time I have no problem admitting that I mean I've never done it before we all got to learn somewhere we put all that in the cup okay so this is where we are now we've only got one well look at there that baby is gone it's not even unbolted so we've got one two three four screws to take out and then all this comes off together Another piece came off. I'll actually show you how I broke this. If I can find the video clip, I think I have it. I didn't even know anything was broken until we got home and we played with him in the yard and my boy was driving this green one and it just was flying across the yard and it just started endoing. Uh, it dropped the pin, it dug into the ground and it, it was it. And I was like, yeah, that, that didn't just break driving across the yard. And then I realized that my wife's had broken too. All right, so now that we got that done, we can just take in probably the rest of this cover off. Would well, not cover, the rest of this upper bulkhead off. So there is the upper bulkhead, however it goes. There's what it's supposed to look like with the addition of this on the corner there. So there's that one. And, uh, there's the one that came off the other X Max, uh, the other uh, Max just a few minutes ago. Put that in a new box of carnage. This is just from the past two days. Yeah. Okay, so that's it, guys. I don't have the new uh, bulkhead yet. I'll, I'll have it tomorrow. So next time you see me back in front of this camera, it will be tomorrow and we'll be putting it back together along with putting a servo in the X-Max, which is a totally separate video. Video link will be down below. Um, so let's just take a look at this real quick here. Uh, this truck's a year old, uh, at least. It, it's more than a year old and hardly any grease in the diff there. And we run it quite a bit. Gears look really well. The pinion looks really, really good. Bearings are completely smooth. And then the diff. The rear gear looks really good. And it's clean, so what I'm going to do is just uh, throw a little extra grease in it. After I... Uh, this little deal here is a pain to get back in place. Uh, my uh, other one was like that. There. What I'm going to do is just throw a little bit of grease back in it when I put it back together and send it. I think it'll be just fine, man. Fine, guys. Okay, so that's it. I hope this video helped you guys out. It's not a bad job at all. Let me show you guys the parts screwed out all over the table here. There's the tires. There's the middle chassis brace. There's the shock towers. There's the uh, bulkhead with the diff in it, of course. And then there you've got the chassis brace, you got the bumper, parts in the cup, bell crank, the tie rods, and you got the front end right there. So I have stuff just all over the place. So I have stuff just all over the place. And uh, I mean, luckily I have a big enough table I can kind of spread it all out. But anyway, uh, 
Again, not to sound like a broken record, I hope these videos really help you guys out. Please give me a like if it helped you whatsoever. Subscribe will help me a lot. Um, I have a lot of different vehicles and I will do a video and I will do videos on every subject on every vehicle little by little as long as you guys are appreciating it. Uh, my videos aren't meant for entertainment, you know. Um, it, it, if you like to watch it just to watch it, cool, you know. But uh, there's a lot of RC videos out there that are really cool, really fun to watch, but they don't teach you a whole lot. I'm not going to, I mean, I, I watch a lot of them. And a lot of, a lot of montage, a lot of, uh, you know, time lapse, which is cool. I, I work eight, nine hours a day building wiring harnesses, and I'll put the phone in front of me, and I'll sit there and watch them, you know, just for entertainment, just for a TV show. But I like to move more towards the teaching aspect or side of it. And by any means, I do not claim to be a guru or a professional. This is the first time tearing this max apart. I'm just a guy who's taking time to show you guys because there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of you guys, a lot of young kids out there that um, are new to this. And it can get frustrating and you don't want to get frustrated on your new hobby and then just give it up. It's, it's cool. It's fun. Uh, if there's any parents watching out there, you're never going to hear any profanity or any lewd comments, nothing like that on my channel. Either one of my channels. My other channel is South Texas Banshee. Um, if you're watching this one on a different channel, this one's going to be South Texas Banshee hyphen RC. Anyway, you'll never hear anything anything like that on my on my comments uh, on my channel. Uh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian man, and uh, I try to do everything the right way. So uh, your your kiddos are going to be safe watching my content. So anyway, you guys have a good night, blessed night, uh, have fun. I'm going to go watch me some TV and get my day started tomorrow, and I'll be back in here at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Bringing you guys part two of the, well, it's right in front of me, I can't think of it, of the bulkhead video. You guys have a nice night. Bye.